Good morning, my friends. Another wonderful day in the Philippines. This is update number nine. Long overdue. I'm at it. I've just uh, been trying to do this out of the cash flow from my Social Security, as I've explained before. And when I run out of money, the construction comes to a stop. But at any rate, um, I've got an update. I've got some projects that are not 100% complete. Some have been complete since the last time you've seen them. So let's go take a look. As you can see, we've got a lot of the cleaning done here. When you get up here and you see the bar, I've completely covered the outside with bamboo. Imagine this entire wall surrounding the entire property covered in bamboo exactly the same as the bar. The bar is only like three and a half feet tall, but the, around the outside it would be eight feet tall. Now I've ordered a bar top and a, a countertop and a table made of acacia wood. The table would be right about here and that was seat eight. And then the countertop where we make drinks would be in here and the bar would be about 18 inches all the way around the outside. All made out of acacia wood, all matching so the bar top, the sink and the table would all match for about two inch thick acacia wood. It'd be beautiful. So I imagine it also been able to clean up the property all the way around as you can see out here and and I also talked about doing the exact same uh, bamboo all the way around on all the walls. And that would be eight feet tall. This is uh, about three and a half foot, but it would be eight foot tall all the way along all these walls, all the way around the property. Just like what you're seeing here, exactly. And I've even got it cleaned up back here. I'm gonna show you this piece since we're here. I've got closet doors that I've had made. I'm making a closet in the bedroom, as uh, you saw in an earlier clip. Now these little holes I have made in there will go up into a bar that will add support. And then the tracks right here is where the uh, door that I had made will roll. So we have a 35 inch door on this side, 35 inch door on that side, have a separate track in the back, and that is a 48 inch mirror, seven feet tall by 48 inches wide. So you'll have like a wall with wallpaper, mere wallpaper, but uh, the entire wall can be moved aside to have a space of this closet that is exactly like three meters long or uh, close to close to 10 foot. So uh, let's go take a look inside. As you can see, the bar is in, it's a bit high. It's gonna get lowered by about three inches. A little miscommunication, it could happen anywhere, not just the Philippines, but anywhere. And uh, they're gonna come back, lower that, then they're going to uh, polish the, the side there. Um, and that part will be done. Got the uh, doors in on the bottom part. Now that area above the sink, I'm going to put in backsplash up in there, all up in there. And there'll be that glass block window we talked about cut into there about eight inches over the sink. But I'm going to need something bright. It's kind of dark in here. So I'm going to uh, put something up in here, a little bright white on that wall, all the way up and through here. Maybe with a little yellow highlight, uh, maybe something blue, uh, but very bright. I'm not going to redo the floors because, uh, you know, I got was going to do it in a black and white. But the cabinet doors, when you look at it, they're not really black. They're a dark brown. There is some black I had uh, thought about doing. And you can see when you get it right up against there, it's not working. It's not, it's just, it would be annoying. It would be, uh, it's just not black enough. And so I'm just not going to fool with it. And you can see where I got to paint there, the little pieces of wood I got to paint uh, black, but uh, very, very dark brown. Got refrigerator, got that uh, for uh, 200 bucks. Anyway, um, got the gas tank in here ready to go. That will last uh, about three months, uh, maybe a little bit longer. And then I have to have the exhaust uh, to go up to the roof. I have just have to buy the parts. The labor is already paid for. So the kitchen uh, with all this should very well should be done. And um, let's go take a look in the other room. There's a black support bar. It'll be two feet wide. So that bar you can't see, but it's, it's two feet from the wall. Up there, there will be two tracks going across, one for a four by seven mirror. And then on either side of that will be two doors that are 35 inches each, which are done in wallpaper. I had the doors custom made, so they just roll back and forth up there. And then I also had the bed wallpaper to match the doors. So um, I think that'll look pretty good. 
uh, I'll probably put some uh, hardwood floors in here, maybe of a yellowish brown type color. It should go well. I, I did this once before in my last house, similar colors, and it worked out pretty good. Uh, the reason the bed is up so high is because it's storage underneath. Most Filipino homes don't really have storage in them, and so that'll be some storage. I've got a six inch mattress, which is pretty comfortable, and underneath that it should hold about six of those six of those containers. So that'll give me some storage besides the closet that's going in. Now I made this bed, it's two feet high, so I took a piece of uh, eight by four plywood, just cut it in half, and that's the basis of the bed. Uh, two by fours and uh, half inch plywood. And over the windows, I'm just gonna put a piece of uh, thin marine plywood and that'll be the back of the closet. Uh, I'm not gonna get too fancy back there, it doesn't really need it. I'll build some shelves in there, you won't really see the back of it. Now here's the doors, the 35 inch ones on either side. What you, what you see in that mirror is it's four feet wide, uh, seven feet long, but it's laying on its side because it's just so heavy. And that's the reason uh, it's not up yet. I'm waiting to, for a payday to get another set of tracks. I've got tracks already for it, but it's just too heavy. So I want to get another set before, uh, before I hang it up there. That kind of wraps up the actual improvements started or made. Um, I've got to pick some tile. Can you stick around for a minute and help me out with that? So if you see something you really like, just uh, let me know what minute and uh, second it was at. Kind of like the brightness of that one, but it's kind of like my, my grandmother might have had that. And the kitchen's kind of a little on the modern side, but could could possibly happen if I need the need the diversity to make it work, make it even out. I like that one there. Um, it's actually kind of 3D. This one. I like it too. It's just though big design covering a wall, whole wall. And it, originally I was going black and white, but I kind of think I want to stay away from that. Just because a lot of that surface area is a very, very dark, dark brown. Now that's bright. And I don't want to put a black in a, more black in a, in a dark brown area. Something that's got some yellow to uh, you know, mix with the black, with the dark brown might be good. Like there's that one I was talking about. It's actually, the, the, the black lines are raised. It's a raised surface there. So it could be kind of cool. But I wish it was more bright, uh, shiny, to, to really brighten up the room. See, like that's kind of cool. You know, it's got some uh, highlights, it's bright. It's different and kind of draws your attention away from all that dark brown and dark colors that I got in there. Maybe some of that light stuff, but that's a little busy, I think. It's kind of it's kind of cool, but it's it's uh it's just too much more darkness coming into the room. If those were like yellow highlights or something uh, or light blue, that might that might work, but that darkness is just it's too I think it'd be too much. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of go by feel, but I, I'm not a, you know, trained designer or anything. I just sort of feel it when I feel it. Anyway, I don't want to bore you to death, but uh, if you see something you like, let me know. I'm going to kind of end this here. So, um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't surprised, subscribed, please do. And I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you much.